Hi guys and welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. What you see in the vise is a very very simple damsel pattern. So without further ado, let's get into it. The hook in the vise then is a Hanak H900 barbless hook. This one's at size 8 and it's on a heavy wire finished in black nickel. I've already coupled that with a 3.8mm chartreuse brass bead. Now, the thread I'm going to be using today is from Semplify. They call this the Fluoro Bright. It's in phosphorus yellow and as you can see it's at 11. So first thing I want to do is get plenty of wax onto my thread and I'm going to catch in just behind the bead. A couple of turns and then I can bring my thread all the way down. It's a nice bright thread this and uh, the reason I'm using this is I want it to really shine through uh, the materials that I'm going to use to tie this fly. Now I'm going to take my tag end away at this point just as I've got past the point of the hook and the first thing I'm going to do is add in my marabou tail. Now I'm using some nature spirits, this is the fish hunter marabou and as you can see it looks very, it's called yellow olive um, but it's actually a lot greener than it will look on the camera. So I've got a feather out the packet and what I want to do is I'm going to take about the entire length of my thumb, I want quite a thick wing on a fly this size and I've just ripped that off the stock. Now what I'm doing is just getting all the white bits into one spot and preparing the feather as best I can in my fingers. And then once I've got this bit, I'm going to go over my waist bin and remove the waist. Now I want this to come up towards the bead. So I'm going to open turns, come back up and I'm going to catch that in. And again, as I come back down, I'm going to do my best to try and keep nice touching turns on the marabou. As I said, I want the thread to pop through the next material that we're going to tie in. So I'm going to come all the way back to just beyond the point of the hook. And... I'm pretty happy with that length, so I'm going to leave it as is. If you're not happy with the length, simply come in with your thumb and forefinger and pinch away the marabou. I'm going to wet my thumb and forefinger in my left hand, just to strip that, but actually now that I see it wet, I'm just going to come and take a little bit off the end, it's just a little bit longer. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some of this stuff, sorry, wrong bit of the label. This is called Crinkle Solid White from Semplify. Now I'm only going to take one strand. I don't want to overdo the, the bling on it. There's, there'll be enough going on as it is. So when I've got the one strand, I'm going to fold it in half and then in half again. And what I want to do is capture the two edges up the side of the, the flank of the tail, if you like. So up the side of the tail. Uh, in the photograph of the fly, you probably don't even see this. It's very difficult to see, but when you see it in the swim tank, uh, it does make a little bit of a difference. So I've caught that in, and I'm going to catch that in on my side. Now, next, with my scissors, I'm just going to take away the very ends. Now, as I say, once I've wetted this down and pulled it back, you probably won't be able to see it. So, next I'm going to use some of this stuff. Apologies for not having the packet. Uh, I got it as is. Now, what is it? Basically, this is a product that's from Uphaven Fly Fishing and they call it Nymph Mode. And what it is, if I can show you on the camera, it's a blend of synthetic and natural material. And uh, it only comes off one side, unlike most frits where you get two sides, this only comes off one. And this is the important part with your thread. You want to really make sure you're getting it touching turns, although, or as best as you can. It is going to be covered quite a bit with materials. 
but you want that nice and bright. And you can see here how bright that thread is. Now when I bring my um, nymph mode fritz round, it might not seem like you can see much of the thread, but in the water, and once it's wet, that thread really pops. It's a really bright thread. Now as I'm bringing the nymph mode over the body, I'm just stroking back the fibres to get maximum amount of material in, onto the body of the fly. It's all about movement in this one. Uh, many damsel nymphs, uh, it's, they've all got something similar in common uh, and it's to do with the movement of the fly which makes it so effective. It's one of the most uh, popular patterns here in the UK. Uh, why don't you let me know in the comments section below if you use damsel nymphs much where you're from in the world. I'd be interested to hear. So just as I bring this up, I'm keeping it nice, touching turns all the way up the body. And I'm just sweeping that back as I go. And when I get to the bead, I'm going to pull it nice and tight and then capture that in. Now at this point, you could just finish the fly and I have every expectation that this would catch you a lot of fish as is. But as I've been banging on for the entire video, it's all about the movement. So what I want to do is add a little bit of hackling. What I'm using is some French partridge. This one's been dyed yellow and I've already picked a feather out. Now with this, I want to catch the tip with my hackle pliers, pull it back I'll just tidy that up a bit with my fingers. A couple of strands have gone astray there. And before I catch in that tip, just going to get a little bit of wax onto the thread. And then I can bring that over like so. I can put a lot of pressure on this because of the thickness of the thread. Now I'm just going to remove my tip, then with my hackle pliers I can catch that on and bring my French partridge around the fly. Now before I do that I'm just going to use my thumb and forefinger, I'm easing the feather back and I want to use the whole feather if I can, so just keep easing it back and eventually you'll come to your stock. Oops, I've just pulled out of that but I've managed to get a hold of the stock. Then I can bring my thread up through, make sure you've caught that in place. You want to get a couple of turns over the stock. Once you've got a couple of turns over the stock you can bring your thread in front like so and then come in with your scissors and remove the excess stock. Now there's a couple of things you can you can finish it nice and tight or you can actually build up a nice collar behind the bead. Then what I use for this one is a little bit of super glue onto my thread like so And then I can come in with my whip finish tool, not having to worry about disturbing the hackle. Now this is a fly that will uh, do well fished on its own on a floater. With a brass bead you can get a little bit of depth with it if you want, depending on the speed of retrieve. But long slow pulls with pauses will make this irresistible to following trout. So I'm just going to use a toothbrush to open up the hackle feathers. You don't have to do this, but it does make the fly look a little bit nicer in the vise. And there you have a very, very simple, quick to tie damsel pattern. 
Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoy tying damsel patterns, why not try this one? It is the most successful damsel pattern I have ever used. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.